everyone. I wanted to do a little update on how my baby is doing and how I am doing. Uh, today I'm 32 weeks and 3 days, so uh, things have been going well for me. So I told you guys in the last video that I found out that I had a circumvallant placenta and the midwife didn't say much about it and I went on Google and I looked up what um, a circumvallant placenta was and what were the risks associated with it and let me tell you, the list is a lot longer online than it is when you speak to a doctor. So I wanted to share what the doctor said to me. So first let me tell you that I ended up switching midwives because of their holiday schedule and um, when I got the other midwife as my primary, she told me she wanted me to go for a level 2 ultrasound at a hospital to check that baby was doing okay and to confirm that my placenta was actually circumvallant because she said it's apparently really hard to see on ultrasound so she wanted to make sure that that's what we were dealing with before we were talking about it. So at 30 weeks I went for a high quality ultrasound and they checked on everything. They checked to make sure placenta was circumvallant which they said there was a high suspicion but it was kind of hard to see because it was so big. But they said baby was doing just fine and growing well. So after the ultrasound at the hospital, the doctor spoke to us right away and he said that circumvallant placentas don't harm the baby. It will maybe cause a smaller baby, but no harm will come to it. And he said that he suggested doing growth ultrasounds just to make sure that it was growing well. So he said that rarely circumvallant placentas are associated with high blood pressure or preeclampsia. So he said that I, am, I don't need to do anything unless I uh, am bleeding or leaking or have severe headaches, blurred vision, or pain in the right upper side of my abdomen. So um, if baby's moving well and I don't have any of those symptoms, then I don't need to do anything about it and they're not worried about baby at all. So that was really relieving. So I have less than eight weeks to go until my due date and I'm super excited to meet this baby. Uh, I will give you guys a little update after it's born to tell you how things went and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Bye!